Hi, everybody. Good day, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're reading this, reading this, whenever you're watching this, I say hello. Pastor Doug here with you for another midweek moment here as we approach the middle of January. Can you believe that the month has gone by already? So how are you doing today, my friends, this middle of January? Do you have the dull drums? The dull drums, are you a bit depressed or sad, down? Um, all those are normal on any day. But about this time of year, there is an ailment, uh, a mental health kind of an illness that has been identified called Seasonal Affective Disorder, SAD. What is my depression because it's gloomy outside and the holidays are over? Sad. Seasonal affective disorder. Should say right out of the gate that if you are feeling um, down, if you're depressed, if you're going through some things, it's important to talk to your doctor about that. Uh, maybe consult with a, a therapist or a counselor. Uh, I am always available on a sort of base level. Uh, ability to listen to you and, and to help you along in any way that I can. But if you're feeling really down and depressed and, and all those things, it's good to talk with somebody uh, professionally. I've known about this SAD for a long time. I've got it to some degree, as we all do. Um, it hits at this mid-January time of year for a number of reasons. One is the Christmas holiday excitement, the energy. You know, maybe you had family fly in and now they've left. Maybe you don't see the grandchildren very often and they came and went in one afternoon. All the holidays are over and that's hard uh, to come out into January. It's cold. It's dreary outside. We uh, treasure the days when we get some sun. And so in this mid-January moment, you know, we just sometimes don't feel quite ourselves. Now, some of that can be considered, you know, quote unquote normal. And we just need to know that it's the time of year and, you know, spring is just less than two months away and we can hold out, you know, and, and do the things we need to do to take care of ourselves. But it's, it's normal and it's okay uh, on some level. And again, if you're needing some professional help, please do that. But the seasonal affective disorder, one of the ways they determine that can kind of help counter that is to turn the lights on in your house. You know, go ahead and turn them all on uh, in the evening when you're home or many of them in the area that you're at. They say even to increase the wattage of your lights, you know, to maybe go to tanning beds. Um, anything you can do to be around more light uh, can help counter that seasonal affective disorder. And certainly, uh, my friends, you know, we can see that light of Christ by coming to church and being with your family of faith. That's a big way to help with this time of year to be around others. Another way that not many of you take advantage of is there's wonderful opportunities for fellowship and fun and Bible study on the computer by Zoom on Wednesday nights and on Sunday nights at seven o'clock, as you know. Please consider jumping in. You don't have to necessarily prepare. It's there for you. We're there for you. And we want you to come and attend. So there's some things we have to do that we have to take initiative and, and help ourselves kind of get through this day by day, be around others, fellowship, serve, give, do the things that you need to do. Sometimes it makes me feel good to, I've got a box in the garage with Goodwill stuff that I ongoingly fill. I love just dropping that off and giving some things away to others. Uh, you know, there's countless ways one can go outside of oneself to help other people. And donating at our food pantry at Faith is an example this Saturday morning. Uh, the coat closet, clothing closet is a week from this Saturday uh, the laundry ministry is first and third Wednesdays. Uh, there are lots of ways to give, and that helps us counter that seasonal affective disorder. And some doldrums, quote unquote, are pretty normal for this mid-January time. So I just kind of want to honor that with you. 
the Bible says in Romans 12, 5, rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep. Rejoice with those who rejoice and weep with those who weep is in Romans 12, 5. And that just says that when someone's feeling kind of down, don't try to cheer them up automatically or push happy thoughts or whatever. Weep with those who weep. In other words, be where that other person is that you're with. Um, the Stephen Ministry Organization has a book through Stephen's ministry called Don't Sing Songs to a Broken Heart. Don't sing songs to a broken heart. If someone is struggling, uh, mind, body, spirit, don't try to, you know, quote, happy Bible verses or whatever. I mean, you have to be where that person is that you're with. And reminder, you know, Jan Smith at St. Andrews is trained in Stephen ministry. It's a lay person's Christian caregiving. She's available to meet with you to talk uh, confidentially, as I am, of course. And I just invite you, my friend, whom I love and care for, not to be an island unto yourself. Uh, seek out others, talk to family and friends, uh, realize that the doldrums, let's call it, are part of what happens this time of year. Uh, cheer up. We're just a few weeks away from the beginning of Lent, which is not necessarily a uh, happy-go-lucky season, but Lent uh, is Latin for the lengthening of the days, the lengthening of the days. That's going to start in just a couple of weeks. And that means that we're moving towards spring and Easter and resurrection and joy are all in the air. Meanwhile, be where you're at. It's okay to be down a little bit. Take some time for yourself. Be good to yourself. Know that God loves you and so do I. And I just wanted to share this midweek moment um, by, where, by way of letting you know that some of what we're feeling is perfectly normal and and is okay. And otherwise, if you need to, please seek out someone to talk to. Uh, but know that either way, you are okay. God is with you. And God loves you. Amen. Amen. Amen.